Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Part 4, our finale of the armor and weapon packs from Halo Mega Constructs. This has been quite a journey and this is the fourth and final episode. In the first part we had a look at the active camo power pack with Spartan Helio Skrill, Pool of Radiance Fuel Rod Cannon, Fade Magnum and Gold Standard SMG with an active camo module. Part 2, we switched gears to the Vector Tactical Power Pack with a Gold Sniper Rifle and gold base plate celebrating the 10th anniversary of Mega Constructs. And inside our power case was a gorgeous assault rifle with bayonet and scope and a shark tooth magnet. Things seemed like they couldn't get any better, but then we moved on to the Spartan CQC armor pack. You know, I, I say better. I would still prefer buying these two because they're such unique figures with their half translucent, half transparent AC or power ability. But in saying that, these armor packs are really awesome too. You get a Spartan CQC and then enough spare armor to customize two more Spartans. I decided to give my Halo Heroes Carter a Spartan Hazop helmet, which I actually think works surprisingly well. And then another figure I customized to make this Grenadier, which, you know, they actually turned out really well. So inside this, you also get a really nice way to display your armor, but as you can see, they do fall off quite easily. I was particularly impressed by the way you can display the chest and back pieces and we're gonna see a similar effect in this new armor pack today part four the final episode we are looking at this the Spartan JFO armor pack this one I've saved to last I'm not as excited about this uh, mainly for that black assault rifle I think they could have done a lot better than that it's so plain when we've gone through so many exciting iterations of other weapons in the previous episodes but I am excited for this scout helmet I'm always a fan of EVA and the JFO looks like a beast too. On the back, we can see the Hermes Hammer Power Pack. We've also got the Vector Tactical Power Pack and the Grenadier that we just opened. And we can see all the armor available to us. It's really nice. I also love, uh, you know, they do it with a lot of sets. I do, they do it with most. But I always love when they have an actual picture from in-game. Like, it just ties it all together. It makes it feel like this is an official product through and through. And let's break it open. All right, same as all the others. We've got loads of accessories in a small bag and then the main pieces on display. And these are also sets that you could technically keep sealed, like that is a nice display piece. People always say to me, Simon, should I keep my sets sealed? If you want to sell them in the future, then sure. But if you want to display them, I would only keep sets sealed that are like, you know, visible on the packaging. Like I would never keep a box set sealed. I could literally just take the contents out and use them and just keep the box on my display if I wanted to. But this actually shows off everything or almost everything on display. So it is a nice one to keep sealed. If I'd actually taken better care of my packaging, maybe I would have. So JFO, out you come. And all the accessories. I wanna thank you all for the support on the last three videos. You know, it's been a really easy video format. While my life has been crazy going through a lot of changes, it's been great that I can just put out these reviews very easily. I put a lot of effort into my videos and I put a lot of effort into editing them, but these videos are definitely a little less time consuming to film, so that's nice. I showed this off in the previous video with the Grenadier armor pack. This is a really nice little double hinge here and it just snaps into place. Like they just lock into each other in a very, very easy way. I say very easy, I'm not, I can't do it now. But look at that, that, that snaps in so gently, it barely even makes a noise, and then it's actually quite sturdy. Yes, if you apply a bit too much pressure, it comes off, but when you're just displaying it, like, you're only going to be displaying this, and it does a really good job at just keeping together, like, holding its form, so it is impressive. And yes, these, I guess, in the game, like, they're imagining that this is, like, a locker that would slide up. I don't think Spartan armor being so expensive, like, this is million dollar armor. I don't think it would be kept in a storage container like that, but that's just the weirdest nitpick for me. Here's our JFO, the main character from this set, and I must say that is a really nice JFO. He stands out a lot more than the CQC does. It's obvious why, right? Like, the CQC has just one color of armor, and that really isn't as imaginative. It just looks quite bland, quite plain washed, but this one, because it has different colored limbs, actually stands out. I love when you have a base color and then a white or 
or a gray to sort of like pop it off. The gold visor also works really nicely and all of these black details are a great touch. So this is much better than the Spartan CQC to me, which is funny because I thought the CQC one was gonna be a better pack. So <laughs> I guess tickle me surprise. All in all, just a very solid figure. I like this JFO a lot. Then we have the Scout and the EVA helmets. A couple of shoulders. Oh yeah, these two are actually different. This one's got a lot of detail on it. Look at that. Those gold bullet casings are actually a great touch. This one is totally plain, but uh, hey, yeah, that, I'm surprised by that as well. And it's nice that this matches the gold of the visors. It's great that they're actually a whole team. You know, Mega clearly wants you to buy a few of these, create a fire team, and I'm all about it. But today I've only got one of them, and we also have this chest and back piece. So you may be thinking, Simon, what are you gonna do if you've only got one of them? Well, we have some figures to customize right here. From the builder's box, the Spartan Gungnir. This is a really dope figure, and it actually matches this one quite well with the cream slash silver gray legs and limb pieces. So they're gonna be a great duo. And so is this Spartan Operator. I thought I'd go for this fun yellow design. This is from Halo Heroes. Comes with one of the best painted weapons of all time. The Spartan laser is dope. And yeah, we're gonna customize these in some capacity. I wonder which we're gonna put with what armor. I guess we're gonna start with this Operator. What's he gonna look better with? We've got the EVA. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice figure. And we've got the Scout. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's try it on the Gungnir. I'm undecided. Oh, see, that Scout looks good on the Gungnir. Yeah, 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 that looks good. Let's try the EVA. I think that's basic because in the Builder's Box, you get a blue EVA, so I don't really need to see that. Let's put the Scout on there. Very nice. I actually, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan. And then we'll definitely swap it out for this Scout style shoulder with the bullet casings. Really nice. Matches the visor. That's a good looking Scout. You're a good looking Scout. So we have these two figures, and I just noticed this chest is almost identical to the one we got in this armor pack, minus this little ammo pouch. So I guess they can be matching more or less. And yeah, this ammo pack chest and back, uh, they're not very original. Like they're pretty plain, but hey, that, that looks okay. Not too shabby, actually. Not too shabby. Actually, I like large heavy shoulders with my EVA, so I'm gonna keep that. The comment section of my previous videos, people like actually, they really don't like it when I put the shoulders on incorrectly. And I do apologize for that. When I'm on camera, you know, there's a lot to think about and sometimes I just slap the uh, shoulders on. But yeah, there we go. And that is a set of three Spartans for today. Let me know down below, which is your favorite Spartan? I love how these sort of uh, secondary limb pieces match between the Scout and the JFO. The EVA can definitely be the commander and these two are leading up the rear. Like the yellow armor is the commander here. That's a dope fire team, man. That's a dope fire team. We'll give the EVA the assault rifle, uh, as he is the leader. We've also got all of these accessories. As I showed in this armor locker, the accessories are able to be held in quite nicely. And this is actually a nostalgic run home, because these have been used by Mega since like 2009, 2010, for the original armor pack. So I think Mega would have been happy to uh, go back to basics there. Right, we've got our armor locker, and we're going to attach in our spare pieces of armor that we just uh, stripped of our more expensive Spartans. This will easily come apart. I don't mind because it's only really for displaying primarily. So when you've got all your pieces in, you can attach the armor locker halves together. How do they recommend? Okay, they say two helmets halfway down. This is following Mega's instructions. And then the shoulders towards the top, which, okay, I can I can get behind that. You could also, if you had more of these pieces, you could put loads and loads of helmets and armor pieces in this. I would love if you have done that before to tag me on Facebook. Our Facebook group, the Mega Constructs domain, grows stronger every day. So if you do spend any time on Facebook, which I don't really recommend, but if you do spend time on Facebook, then do head over to the Mega Constructs domain and chill out with us there. Shoulders in, I think you have to put these shoulders upside down, I'm not sure. And the helmets, one and two. That's our complete armor locker. I said a joke in the last episode, I still agree with it. They look like dissected heads. They look like trophies on a wall, like game trophies. And then we'll clip it together and that is our armor locker complete. Nice, very nice. Three Spartans, I mean, of course, yes. the set didn't come with three Spartans. It is difficult with customization sometimes because you want to make cool Spartans, but you also don't want to confuse your armors and just get them all lost in a big box.
box. It can be a uh, painstaking process to like match them all back up again. But either way, this is a great set of three. Let me know in the comments down below, do you prefer our red team that we made from the Spartan JFO armor pack or the blue team from Spartan Grenadier armor pack? Hey, yo, let's go blue. Let's go blue team. You like blue? I, I honestly like this red team. I really enjoy that EVA. I think that's pretty fantastic. But yeah, we got CQC, Hazop, Grenadier, Scout, JFO, EVA. Really fantastic figures. And for a very affordable price of only seven to eight dollars. The black base plate is plain and I really would have liked a colored rifle here. Like, especially when they're coming out of Halo 5 Guardians, there are so many weapon skins to choose from. I would have enjoyed slapping another one on there, but that's a small nitpick and this is also a Halo Reach assault rifle. So it goes both ways. And in saying that, it would have been great to have an excuse to uh, army build a colored Halo Reach assault rifle. Either way, thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed part four and you can check out the other three parts of this series every day before this one. I'll put some in the end card of this video, but either way, I really appreciate your support. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. You have a great day and the EVA is signing off.